Come on. Yep. Come on, fella. Whoop. Hey, 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 Right behind me we got a cow and a calf. They don't belong to each other, but we're gonna make them a pair. Long story short, series of unfortunate events gave us this calf without a mom and this cow without a calf. She doesn't have the most milk, so we're supplementing bottle two. Anyway guys, today we're getting the bowls up and we're going to semen test. Got close to 80 bowls in that pen, that's coming out here in about 30 minutes. Hello? Take a lot of the high part there. Huh? One customer likes his bowls to be branded, and he's been a loyal customer. And I just kind of thought in my mind, you know, he left his brand here from last year. I think that means he anticipated buying more. I think he just forgot it. Uh oh. I think if we hold that brand hostage, he has to continue <laughs> to buy from us. The bowls are all eaten. A couple things can make this day semen testing interesting. If they're hungry or if it's really hot out, you know, us guys, we get ornery. And it's not always fun working with bowls when, uh, when they're ornery. Looks like our tamest cow is working on having a calf. I noticed the other day that she's got two or three daughters in our herd, and they're all pretty tame cows as well. Bunch of fellas being dudes right here. Come on. That's it. Hey. Ah! Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Come. That went great. I still am winded. We're just getting started here. First bowl was good. There's gonna be 10 bowls getting branded today. They're gonna to run down and thwart them into here. Dad's actually gonna get those off the farm today.
I can take one more. There you go, home. <laughs> this elephant fully erect. This was the massage. This was the massage. There's not many guys other than Luke that can do that. <laughs> other than a probe. We're getting about two thirds done. Everything's passed so far. A little different than last year, you know, with we had a really hard winter, cold wind, snow last year, so there were a few that didn't test. We do have some good news that cow in the barn, she had it, calf's getting up, walking. Look at the nads on this guy. So they're going back out to their pen for another two days, bull days, until Friday. Hey, come on. But we do have 10 locked over here because they're getting delivered today. Hey, come on. Quite a heat we got today. It feels like summer. It's probably not even 60 yet, but it feels warm. I got a guy close by that bought 10 from me and I asked him if I could bring him over today to just have less congestion on Friday and he said yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Well, bull testing went very well. Good samples, good herd health. We even got a newborn calf during it. I, I think that cow has only had heifers for the last five years. Last week we had that calf, that real lethargic, loose stool. Doc IV'd him. He's sitting right here. He's night and day difference. How you feeling, buddy? Got his balance back. His back end's cleaning up. Feeling a lot better. So it went from being warm earlier today and sunny. Got some clouds now. Just looked at the pairs on Kenny's, they look good. Last weekend we got a big wind. 
and it knocked a tree on a fence and just yeah it broke some wires and we need to cut it i gotta take this yeah so later we got some fencing to do right now we're running low on corn in the bunker semi that's not too buried actually it's got a half load of cracked corn We got a big tree landing on the fence, and I can tell you one thing, this ain't gonna be the last time right here that a tree lands on this fence. Especially this big white one right here. That thing is leaning far, and it's uh, getting rotted. Might fall in my truck right now while I'm fixing this one. if you've noticed but the wind picked up certainly a lot of weight and force look at this wire you know, it's supposed to be twisted I mean it really stretched it out when I landed it's a good thing the winds blowing this way because like I said this big rotten white tree it's got a lot of weight over there right on top of my truck I just need you to hold on for another 10 minutes back fixed up it was just last week I moved the pears out of this pen to get them in a healthier spot and then that big wind came and knocked that tree over so if you know it's, it's all luck but if I wouldn't have done that there would have been cows and calves running all over this field look on the ground right there that long one that was the last one that broke that fence there's a few splices in that spot and like I said it won't take too long and there'll be a few more I'll be right back here chucking a big tree over the fence well there you have it we got the bulls tested cut a tree fix the fence and next video will be bull day close to about 30 folks coming out we'll be feeding a lunch People will be picking up bulls. It's a, it's a big stress relief to get rid of quite a few head uh, before planting starts. So hope you tune in next time. Thanks for watching. Love to see you again. Have a good one.
Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Dorino singing. Ho, 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 ho.